Hi there, Sagittarius, Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is Chrissy from Instars by Chrissy.com, and this is your August 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. So, um, this month I'm actually using a new deck, obviously, and this is called the Tarot of Sexual Magic by Laura Twan. It's actually a very interesting deck, and it's very much suitable to be used for love readings just like what we're doing on a monthly basis so it's going to be interesting how things are going to be unfolding and what insight it can actually give it's just that you know you have to forgive me that the imagery of this deck might be very sensual very very much um on the sexual side it shows a lot of erotic um um, tendencies and all of that so um yeah it's all part of the element in play so mm, yeah um how this deck is actually being read is going to be a lot different from the usual you know normal tarot deck that i i use with my writer weight over here so you might um find a little bit of a shift with how I read it but I'm still going to be using my own intuition um in reading this but I'm also going to be mentioning what Laura Twan is portraying for each and every card that we come across so um yeah without any further ado let's just dive deep into the reading shall we now, for you Sagittarius out there, the first card of the reading you have here is the Five of Wands. Now, the Five of Wands is actually, in, it's not, you know, it's not a trigger for fighting. It's not really about that in this deck. This In this deck, this is all about watching. You know, as you can see, the man over here is watching the couple having their, you know, sexual intercourse and all of that. And it has an energy of sharing and finding things out, all of those kinds of things. So it's like something's being known. You could be in a situation also where, in, you know, something is shaking up in terms of your personal life. It could be that there could be something that you cannot control anymore. You know, it's like, you know, you are probably the type of person who is trying to restrain himself or herself into doing something. But this could be a time wherein, you know, a lot of things can really happen. And for you, it's like within yourself, you're feeling a lot of energy. You're feeling a lot of, you know, a drive to do something, to do something crazy, you know, or maybe it's a, it is a driver and you are suddenly finding out a surprise or suddenly, you know, coming into a realization over something, you know, you finding out something, all that. It could also be um, a very psychological thing wherein you cannot control your emotions. You cannot control your own energy. It's like you wanted to do something, but you don't know what, you know. It could be also a situation wherein you are trying to stop yourself from saying something, from doing something in the past. But this is the time wherein you cannot really do that anymore. And this could be the time wherein you will be influenced or encouraged to take action. So it is being also crossed over by the Fool card. And this the Fool card is very interesting. You know, we all know the Fool card as a new beginning type of energy. And, you know, taking a leap of faith, that is the usual normal um, interpretation of the Fool card. And for Lord Twan, this is more about um, surrendering yourself to whatever it is that is happening. So it, it still has a similar meaning to the normal deck, you know, all of this, um, all of the deck of, of the tarot sexual magic has the same meaning. It's just that how it is being explained, how it is being portrayed and the story behind it, um, can, slightly differ you know how it is being delivered that kind of thing so this could be a situation maybe that you know um you're trying to 
to not do something and now you're trying you, you're, you're it's like you know it's like someone is exploding like you cannot stop yourself from taking action over something anymore and this is about you know surrendering to whatever it is that is going to happen that is happening you know whatever it is that you may might have found out or what you're feeling instead of restricting this energy instead of restricting yourself you know making things hard for you um this is like a situation we're in you just have to go with the flow and you know if you feel like you want to do something whether it's positive or negative i kind of feel that it's going to be healthy for you to take action based upon what you want to do what you feel that you should be doing because you know if you try to restrict yourself that is going to cause a lot of conflicting feelings inside of you and that might not result exactly in a very positive manner and i feel that in this situation you are going to venture into taking action you're like surrendering to faith surrendering to life you know letting things happen just like that and this is also a situation this is actually a very interesting card your foundation card is a three of pentacles now with the normal deck when we talk about the three of pentacles this is about you know um working things together there is some form of improvement and it's not really changing you know this is still an energy of improvement for laura torn in the tower of sexual magic it's just that it has the energy that if you want to receive something, you need to give in. You need, you need to give in. So um, I don't know if you guys can see the correlation in things like surrendering to things that are happening and giving in so that you can receive something. So instead of, you know, playing hard to get, for example, you know, you, you give in to the guy or the man that is wooing you, for example, you know, and whatever it is, I kind of feel that there is going to be some form of satisfaction in the air that's going to be representing um, itself in this reading. Also, at the top of the reading, we do have here the king of swords now the king of swords is actually talking about power and strength you know it's it's an energy of fundling now you might see and notice that all of the keywords has a lot to do with you know um sexy kind of sexy time and sexual kind of thing and really all about it uh the passionate and erotic side and that's just how the tarot tarot sexual magic is so with this in place it's like you know you don't want to do something or show something too much but at the same time inside of you you want you want to experience something um really passionate you know it's like I don't know. It's like I kind of feel that the people or the Sagittarius that I'm connecting with, it's like they have a persona that they want to portray that they're trying to show people that they are this type of person, even though inside of them, they actually desire something really could be wild or could be very much grand, that kind of thing. So it's really hard to explain, but I hope that, you know, I am somehow making sense. There is an energy here that you want to show that you're not that easy to get or you're not going to give in easily just because someone did something and etc. But in, in here, we are seeing that if you do give in, if you do give in, there is going to be some form of new beginning and satisfaction in the air. And we do have here the Ace of Pentacles as well. Also here is the, um, the Knave of Wands. So this could be an entrance of someone really passionate, you know, it could be someone from the past. There is a nostalgia in this, um, energy 
all at the same time, something is dreamy. Maybe you are being skeptical of maybe someone is being too good to be true. And maybe they are, or maybe they're not. So there's a lot of conflicting energies going on here. So this is making you feel um, unsure of what action that you should be taking. But um, we are seeing here that whatever actions that you do, you are going to leave it to faith. And this is actually going to lead you to, to some form of satisfaction, some form of happiness in the air all at the same time. You're not going to regret the decision that you have made, especially if you choose to give in to this person or to this situation. There's going to be some form of positive scenario or an ending that is going to be very beneficial to you at the end. Now, um, you have here the Nine of Wands. Now, in the Nine of Wands, as I said, in the Rider Waite, um, this has a, an element of hesitation, just like I mentioned earlier. That is the energy that I'm picking up. There are hesitations in you and this is also a situation we're in if there is a problem you should be you should hurry to resolve it if you want to you know to to save the relationship so it has the same feeling wherein you feel that you're needing to do something in a situation you need to do something you know if if you are in a partnership or in the other person feels as if there is not much love, not much connection, this is the time we're in. You might be wanting to resolve this, wanting to resolve the miscommunication, the misunderstanding, and to show the person that you do love them, that you do have feelings with them, and that you do want to give them more. So... The other person, the other, other, um, situation card that we have over here is the hangman. Now, the hangman is actually a very wonderful card in this tarot of sexual magic. And even though that it's a hangman, it's actually talking about bonding and a sacrifice all at the same time. So this is a, it's like, you know, I can see the correlation into everything we're in. You are trying to control yourself. There is some form of strength and power in place. You are trying to restrict something, preventing yourself to do something, controlling your own feelings in place. But, you know, you know, maybe you care so much about your ego to the point wherein you don't want to show, you don't want to be vulnerable. I, th I think that is the right word. You don't want to be vulnerable to the other person, to the partner that you have with you at this time. But this is like telling us that um, to show your vulnerability, to show your own weakness to your other person. And there could be some form of, you know, greater bond that can present itself by doing that. Now, we also have here the Three of Cups over here. So the Three of Cups has a lot to do with, you know, some form of relief. Relief. Relief from a lot of things. <laughs> as, you can, as you guys can see, this is actually a very, very sexual card where it, you know, um, someone is, the man is really making the girl feel really, really good. And, you know, what if you are coming from an element of frustration this is an element of relief and a lot of passion so there is an energy for that and if you guys can see um the dynamics of the reading for Sagittarius has a lot of very passionate cards and it's really telling us some form of tenderness and gentleness is going to be required in terms of your love life and relationships now, the last card of the reading is actually the Queen of Cups. And this has a lot to do with, you know, tenderness and, you know, being really understanding and really giving in to your feminine energy and all of those really wonderful things in life. You, this could be a situation wherein you are, you know, planning for the future or maybe you are at the point of time wherein you feel that you wanted to spend 
something much more with this person. Especially this is going to apply if, you know, you are in a new relationship and you feel that, you know, there could be something more into this person or you wanted to upgrade or transition your relationship to a deeper commitment, there is going to be an effect of improvement in terms of your love life and relationships. It's just that there is going to be a requirement to to really um to bond with them, you know, don't um shove them away. It's like I know that your ego might be very important to you, but I kind of feel that this is a moment in time where you need to show that you're not always very much guarded, that kind of energy. So we do see here that the energy of you showing your femininity and loving yourself in the process and by doing that, the other person will be able to be much more open to love you all at the same time. So um, overall, though, I kind of see that there is a possibility for much improvement here, much um, communication, growth and development that could really, really happen. It's just that, you know, um, there is also an energy here wherein you are, you are being careful with certain things to the point wherein you don't want to to take a risk you you are taking too much caution into things and this is a situation wherein it's telling you that it's okay to give in it's okay to love it's okay to give in to your desires as well and not try to you know um Try not to think all of the negative things that can happen, you know, especially if you are, you know, meeting someone for the first time. Maybe you're very skeptical and all that. So basically, the energy here is telling you to, to enjoy yourself and have fun with it. I know that it's not always the best advice because um, doing everything so freely with no self-control and no thought for social distancing, especially during this time, is not really the wisest thing to do. But, you know, it doesn't have to be re relating into that. But the key ingredient that I want to say here is that to give in to the situation and to show, um, to be more passionate, you know, to to explore your own emotions and to express them to the world, to express them to, to your partner or to the relationship that you are in. And there could be actually, you know, some form of improvement. Something good can come about through that. So, um, yeah. So stop being very secretive, Sagittarius. Though, even though that I know that's not really the thing for Sagittarius, I just kind of feel that, a lot of you guys are, you know, trying to hesitate, try, you know, there's a lot of things that are happening with you guys and a lot of things that are blocking your way, especially we have here Pluto in the fourth house in the sign of Capricorn and we have this combination happening in astrology, you know, at this time. So the fourth house has a lot to do with family and with the, our own emotions. What is comfortable to us? The fact that this is being presented to us would mean that, you know, our emotions are, could be being challenged or at the same time, you know, something faded could be, should be happening along those areas of your life. So if this is, has, has a lot to do with your own emotions, this could be the time where in, you know, some form of major growth can happen for you for the month of August, you know, some form of breakthrough in terms of your relationship, in terms of your emotions that can lead to a very, very much happy outcome from here onwards to the future. So, um, yeah, so take a risk. It's okay. Enjoy yourself and learn to relax. And, you know, not everyone is out there to get you. 
Sagittarius. So um yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. This is Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. If you do want a personal reading just like this one, then you can go book a session with me from my website in the stars by Chrissy.com and I shall see you guys again next month. Goodbye.